What's up course heroes? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Amit. I am back at it after taking a short break. Uh, kids are home because of COVID. Everyone is at home. So that kind of kicked my butt and didn't give me enough time to create the videos. But now I'm back at it. Even though the kids are home, we have figured out a schedule. So let's get started. Today we are talking about the Zoom integration with the new Zendler. This is the biggest bomb that New Zealand has dropped on every learning management system out there with their direct integration with Zoom. So now you have a world-class webinar platform and a world-class learning management system that gives you more than just learning management, right? You can do so many more things within New Zealand. Today, we are dedicating this video specifically to the Zoom integration and how it works. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm in my new Zendler school and again, uh, the Zoom integration is being rolled out in waves. So the new Zendler tech team can kind of test out, flush out any bugs before they make it generally available to everyone. Now, if you do have access to it, you will see this live uh, button right here in your school and it works pretty seamlessly. I'm going to walk you through these steps. There are three options. These two are coming soon. One is a webinar. We can run webinars right from within New Zealand, and then the other one is uh, you can live stream to Facebook and YouTube. What is currently uh, available today, I, this is mid-May, is the live class option. So I'm going to cl click on that, and before I even get into that, if I show you the Zoom pricing page, right, for what we're getting with New Zealand, this would cost you about 20 bucks a month. So I'm going to go to plans and pricing. It's thinking I'm in UK, uh, I think because I'm using uh, different location settings. So the pricing here is about 20 bucks a month, which is 15, uh, 16 pounds. So $20 a month for 300 participants, right? Now with New Zealand, that's already included. You get up to 300 participants, you get 90 minute sessions and you get 100 sessions a month. 100 sessions a month is about three sessions a day with 300 participants that's 900 people a day you're getting in your pro plan already included so let's walk through how it works i'm going to click on live class this will show you all the live classes you have done and any future ones that are coming up and a new one you can create in here so i have already created one but i can create a new one just to show you the look and feel first thing of course is the topic and description so i'm going to quickly put that in here you get 500 characters uh which isn't a lot but i know in the future, the New Zealand team is working on giving us the functionality of using their beautiful page designer with this. So you won't have to rely on just the description to design your page. And then here you can set the date and time and also the time zone. And then I'm going to max this out to 300. I'm actually going to go 301 just to show you what would happen if you go over that limit. And then you can set the duration of the meeting. So I'm going to go 91 minutes instead of 90. And right now, the only option is someone has to be registered on your site as a student in order to attend the webinar. But I'm going to show you in a second how seamless it is for your students to register for these webinars. And then finally, the inbuilt password protection is already there. You can ask for an additional password during joining, which is automatically populated, but you can change it if you wanted. So I've changed it. And then finally, you can add a banner image here. 860 by 480 is the size. So I can just click here, add this, and then you can either crop and save. I'm going to go like this, crop and save. And then now that's going to be the image. And then once you're ready, just hit the create button and your webinar is created. Now you can see there's an error here because I went over my 300 allowed participant limit. So I'm going to change that to 300. Now I'm going to get another error for the minutes because you get maximum of 90 minutes, but you do get a grace 15 minute period, which means your class can run 105 minutes. And that's a long time for a class, hopefully. Hopefully you're not teaching something which is two, three hours. Uh, if that is the case, you'll have to do multiple Zooms. So here it is, it's created. Now you can invite people. I created this one earlier, so I'm because it does take a few minutes for Zoom to propagate it on their end. So once you have created it, I can go back in here, hit the little three dots and click on edit. Now from here, you can start the class. You can invite people or you can preview. So let's go ahead and preview and see what this looks like. This is what your page is going to look. They will, your students will have the book my spot here. They'll also have this uh, text that you have put in here and then how, how many minutes before the class starts. So if they do end up on this page before the webinar has started, they will continue to see the countdown timer, which is really nice. 
and in the meantime you on the back end can prepare your zoom meeting so i'm going to show you in a few seconds how that's done let's go back here now there are a few ways to do this you can either invite them just copy the invite link right go to invite copy this link use your email marketing system or use zoom i mean or new zendler to send emails right from within the platform or what i have done for now is i have uh, copied that url and i have created a, a lesson within a course which is join our zoom live training so you could do it that way and i'm going to show you i'm logged in here as a student if i go back to my home page as a student now this is a i'm using a tor browser and this allows you to change your location so right now it's showing i'm in austria and here is my zoom webinar course that i was given access to and here's that lesson which is the live zoom class so i can go in here click that link and join the webinar see the join here now if i do this i'm still going to see the countdown timer because the webinar has not started yet but what i can do as a student is book my spot so to go back here for a second you'll see there's a tab up here called registered users and right now there's no registered users here you cannot manually enroll people in here the only way is for them to go and click on the book my spot button so what i can do here is because i'm already logged in you're going to see how seamless and quick this is i'm going to click on book my spot and that will allow me to simply skip any of the registration steps if i was not logged in as a student then they would ask me for a username and password but because i am already logged in so once i click the button this is the page i'm brought to which basically confirms my registration and i will also receive an email as a student i'm going to put a screenshot of that email here and that email kind of shows you when the webinar is the date and the time and also the link to join the webinar now as a student i can hit this go button that's going to launch the webinar for me when the time is there right now it's not time yet so all your students are going to see is this countdown timer now let's jump into the back end and see what it looks for the admin <clears throat> so i'm going to go back here if i refresh this page i will see that one person has registered for my class and you can see their email their status and their name now let's say you are ready to start this class you're going to simply click the start class button there's also export csv so you can export all your contacts put them in your email marketing system and then send them reminder emails so i'm going to start class now and it'll remind you that it will automatically end 15 minutes after your set duration which means if you have set your class for the 90 minutes max you will get an additional grace 15 minutes before the meeting automatically ends now as for the zoom interface if you have used, used zoom meetings before it is pretty similar you, you can see it's taking up my webcam i'm going to join with computer audio so here's my webcam oh my god my face is so blown in i'm going to stop this video because you can see me in the corner you don't need to see me twice i'm not that good looking so here's what the zoom interface is now before you let your participants in there are a few housekeeping things you can do while uh, they are waiting in the waiting room just to get things started for you if you're running these uh, meetings these webinars these live classes solo uh, so the first few things that i like to do is i go into my security here and i can select if my participants are allowed to chat allowed to share screen and allowed to rename themselves so i'm going to allow chat but i only want them to chat with me and not with privately with other participants so for that you can go into chat and then here you can change who your participants can chat with so in this case i want them to chat with everyone publicly or host only so i can change this to everyone publicly you can also share a file in here so i can just drop any file in here and that will be shared with all your participants and then again you can do this for everyone or just whoever you you as an admin can send this privately as well so that's uh, the chat feature so you can set that while you're waiting for participants to join the other thing you can do is go into security and lock this meeting or enable waiting room which means everyone who joins the meeting has to wait in the waiting room and you have to admit them manually so if i enable that then you will see a notification here under participants that someone is waiting to join and then you'll be able to click the admit button to admit them into the uh, webinar 
the next is a uh, share screen here you can you know standard options you can go whiteboard you can share your screen or you can go into advanced and just share part of your screen again this is all standard out of the box zoom functionality i mainly wanted to show you the integration but while we are here i also want to show you how this works uh, you can record now as of now middle of may the recording only works if you record it on your local machine cloud recording is not active yet i know that is something in the works where you will be able to put your recordings into zooms storage cloud storage and then or maybe new zealand's cloud storage i'm assuming and then access it right now you can record this on your computer and then breakout rooms is something pretty cool i'll link to a separate video that talks about breakout rooms and how they work or basically let's say you have 10 participants and you want to break them into two rooms you can select the number of rooms and you can say that zoom can automatically split them or you can do the work manually and this is usually handy when you're doing like whiteboarding sessions and you want smaller teams to work on something you can do that and uh, i know that they're also working on getting the polling feature in here which is not here yet and then finally there are reactions where your participants can clap or give you a thumbs up and then on this side the other thing i like to do is if i go back to participants you can mute all so everyone enters in mute mode and then you can also allow them to unmute themselves or you can uncheck this box so your participants will not be able to talk this is great if you're doing a webinar you are, or you're running through a presentation and you don't want to hear other people in the background someone always forgets to mute themselves on a zoom meeting and then once that meeting is over you can uncheck this and then allow them to participate if that's your uh, that's the kind of meetings you're running so i'm going to say yes now no one can talk except for the host and then i'm the host I can go here add my profile picture or rename myself and then finally on this side you have your mute or uh, select your audio settings so if i click this i can select my mic my speaker and also test some of this stuff i can also add a virtual background for my video so if i restart that video right i can choose a virtual background so now if i restart the video you can see i have a virtual background which comes in pretty handy it can be kind of like an icebreaker if you have a funny background and that was pretty much it once the meeting is over you can hit the end button and that will end the meeting before i end it what i want to show you is if i refresh this page now as a student you will see that now i can join the live class and i have my password here that i need to use in order to join the live class now because i am on the same machine i cannot uh, invoke the zoom client twice so i won't be able to show you the student side but it's pretty much the same minus some of the admin functionality that we looked at already and there you have it course heroes that is how you can integrate zoom with new zendler now before you leave if you like this video consider hitting the subscribe button so you get notified every time i release a new video and stay safe wherever you are and keep creating thank you for watching i will see you on the flip side